I was at Club Monaco again because I love their t-shirts like this one. And for the third time, I saw this cute girl that works there and she smiled at me and she said, Hey, you're back. I was super nervous because this time, unlike the last time I saw her, I had a plan. Little did she know, I was pacing outside Club Monaco for several minutes before finally going in because I was so nervous just in case she was there. Just a few days ago, I was talking to a friend and she said she welcomes guys hitting on her on the street or when she's working at the restaurant. She said approaching in person is way better than online dating. She's never tried online dating and she never plans to. But she said when she's working at the restaurant, she prefers if the guy writes his number down on a piece of paper and gives her the choice to contact him, less pressure for her that way if she wants to reject him. So that was my plan. So the Club Monaco girl asked me, how are you doing? I said, I just said goodbye to a friend who went back to Korea and she asked me if I'm Korean and said that she's Korean too. Then she said how she gets approached by old people who start talking to her in Chinese, Vietnamese, or Japanese. It's happened to me a few times as well, so we were amused about it. I bought a couple t-shirts and asked for a pen and paper. She was telling another customer to wait until she finished helping me out. I wrote down Paul and my number, and my hand was shaking because I was so nervous. My writing became more chicken scratch than usual. I handed her the paper and said, if you want to grab refreshments sometime after work, let me know. She was surprised and said, oh, okay. And then I walked out of there as fast as I could, shaking my nerves off. My mouth was so dry. You know how your mouth goes dry when you're really nervous? Yeah. So what happened with the Club Monaco girl? The next day, I got a text from her and we went on a lovely date. I'm kidding. I never heard from her. I started thinking, ah, shit. The next time if I run into her again, it'll be awkward. But then I thought the first and second time I saw her, I was kicking myself for not making a move. And now I made a move and I found out she's not interested. So it's better knowing instead of wondering what if. So considering that, I'm glad I made a move. After talking with my friend, it made me think I should start approaching girls again. Her saying that being approached in person is way better than dating apps is encouraging. Give the girl the choice of whether she's interested in you or not instead of deciding it for her. That's an empowering belief. Doesn't change the fact that it's scary as shit though. There was a time many years ago when I used to approach girls on the street. I got two dates from that, but they didn't go anywhere. I probably approached roughly 50 girls over time, so I guess I have maybe a 4% success rate at getting a date. It's a numbers game as well. Most girls are not single or not interested. Almost every single rejection here in Toronto was polite though. Not in Korea. Their rejections are brutal over there. They just don't say a word, ignore you, and walk right past you with a stone cold face. Funny enough, one of those dates I went on was with a girl that I approached while I was walking with a friend. Max and I were walking to a restaurant and I saw a girl look at me as she walked past us. So I told Max, just one sec. And then I bolted after her and then I told her she looked cute and I asked for her number. Max was really impressed when I got her number, but a part of it is luck as to whether you're her type. She was Asian. From my experience, I have a much better chance with Asian girls. But I don't work downtown anymore and I don't live in a busy neighborhood and I don't want to make time to go to a crowded place just to approach. So I'm barely going to ever approach any girls at this rate. Dating is tough, man. Dating apps are shit, especially for guys. You should check out other videos that tell you the dreadful statistics. Well, here's to not giving up despite everything. Cheers.